trying to get a tan. <laughs> Mom's winning. Mom's winning. Mom's winning by 100. Oh, that was good. Right. Let's try and get five. <laughs> One. <laughs> One. One's not right here. One. <laughs> Let's try to get two. Okay. Did what? This. Huh. Where is it? You want to try and play with me? We have a referee. You know what a referee does? He watches the game and tells you if you're doing it right. Do you see our referee? Look up. Okay, <laughs> kind of tricky. This is elf size, so it's kind of hard. <laughs> Can this one you try and hit it. I think him wanted this one. Was yeah, he probably played with it all night with this guy. This guy probably came to life, and they were like. <laughs> <laughs> you think so? Yeah. I think so. Piece? Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, imagine the elves die diving off there. <laughs> <laughs> he does kind of look like he's skydiving. <laughs> so we just had a renter move out of the apartment and they left this jam and Everett loves this Bon, I can't even say it, Bonnie Maman jam. And so we yeah. never tried the strawberry, but it's good. And he said, mind blowing. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a word. You have to let see me eat it. Do you want to leave it on? Or are you going to still talk? I want to still talk. Okay. This is going to be so yummy. It's just a mind blowing. When I ate a bite of it. Hello and good morning friends. Welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. I guess we're doing this. I'm not sure that I'll be able to do every day, but I'm gonna do as many days as possible in the month and bring you guys along. We live in Eagle River and in Eagle River every year they do this thing called the Merry Merchant Munch. It says the 29th annual. The only year they haven't done it is um, the year that the earthquake, things were just too crazy to do that. But um, what happens is there are a bunch of different vendors in our little city and you can go and they have treats set out. They have um, sometimes arts and crafts for you to do. They have food, um, just depends on the different merchants. So uh, that is happening this weekend. And as I was looking, oh, hello Luna, you have to come. Yes, I was trying to show them this. You just need to make sure you do say hello, huh? Oh, she's going to play with the ball. <laughs> Anyways, as I was looking through this um, catalog that they sent, which tells you all the different places you can go to, I saw this, that there is a gingerbread house competition. Now, every year we go to my sister's house and the kids make gingerbread houses. And two years ago, <laughs> Luna. Luna wants to play now.
Good job. You're better than me and Bennett. Uh-oh. And two years ago, I decided to start making my own gingerbread houses and I make them a little bit fancy, not your traditional gingerbread house. And I have so much fun with it. I decided that I am going to enter this gingerbread house competition. It is Thursday. They have to be submitted by Friday. So today is my chance to do it. So I'm gonna bring you guys along as I build my gingerbread house. I'm gonna go get out all the stuff that I bought the other day with the boys and I'll show you what I got to make my gingerbread cabin and then uh, we'll get started. So the other day the boys and I went to the P.O. box and right next to the P.O. box is Cars Safeway. I never shop at Cars, but I had looked for some of this stuff at Fred Meyer the other day and I couldn't find what I wanted. So we decided to go into Cars and I found lots of good stuff. All right, here is my haul. Marshmallows to make a snowman. This is for the snowman's hat. Pretzel rods to look like logs. These are gonna look like stones. This is to make some trees, snow, snowman. And then these are my kind of secret weapon, um, some herbs. We also picked up these Tim Tams because if you guys have been around for a while, our friend Vanessa in Australia sent us some Tim Tams. The kids saw these, they got so excited. They decided, they said, we gotta get one in each flavor. So we'll be having a little taste test of these Tim Tams here soon. So if you're looking for Tim Tams, our Safeway had them. So these are not for my gingerbread house. I am using this pre-built gingerbread house from Costco because I have tried to build my own houses in the past always ends up a disaster. I end up spending more time putting the houses together and then falling apart than anything. So I'm just not gonna do that today. I am gonna put a Christmas movie on the TV. I'm sure Everett will be in and out helping me with this, but um, I prefer to do it alone if I'm being honest, because uh, he'll have his chance to do his. He'll come in and eat my candy because I'm not gonna use a lot of the candy, but let me get the last of my stuff and we'll get started. All right, I've got Different, two different kinds of Chex Mix, and then almond slices that I'm gonna use. All right, I turned on White Christmas because I've seen it before. There were some other good Christmas movies that I would like to watch, but I'd have to actually pay attention. White Christmas, I can just have on in the background. I loved reading through all of your favorite Christmas movie suggestions. A lot of them overlapped with mine. Some were new to me that I'm gonna have to look up. My actual favorite Christmas movie is not really a Christmas movie, but it is. It's called Holiday Inn, where Bing Crosby goes and opens up um, an inn that's just open up on the holidays and they put on a show. I love it. So have you ever seen it? If not, go look it up if you like old um, movies with singing and dancing and stuff like that. It's a good one. Um, Bing Crosby and Fred Astaire, can't go wrong. Okay, let's open up this gingerbread house. Okay, out of these things, I will probably use this and maybe a few things from there, but maybe these little lights, we'll see. You know, I'm just like so boring when it comes to color, I like. Excuse me. Yes. Okay, where to start? I'm gonna start by massaging this so that it's ready to go. I may end up having to make some of my own frosting. We'll see. Kind of tedious, but I think it looks good. Start on this side. Shake you, shake you, 
got my little architect here giving me tips. This is the house so far. I gotta figure out what I wanna do up there. Oh I gosh. wanted to do something. The side. This side. Pretty cute. Yeah. You do that. You oh, I want to do. I want to do the little gingerbread man and his wife like that. That's really cute. I think I'll do that. Got some little antlers there. We'll see if they dry and they can go on the side of our house. Okay, I think we need to work on a wreath. And I'm trying to decide if I do it out of this rosemary or the thyme. <laughs> All right, I got the little gingerbread men here. I stacked a little thing of wood. It's coming along. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out. Ah, we got our little friends. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, isn't that amazing? So cute. Now we get to clean. Okay, instead of cleaning up, I made this tree. I used little bits of the rosemary and thyme. Added the red balls. And I'm gonna clear a spot and put it here. And then I promise I'm gonna walk away. It's hard to stop. I'm actually having so much fun. Should I have been doing other things today? Probably. I just really wanted to do this. And sometimes it's just good, especially when you just push yourself as hard as I do. So like, it's good to every once in a while do something a little bit more just for yourself and fun. Okay. Okay, in a previous video, I talked about this light the world calendar. It just gives you suggestions on like telling people you love them and um, gifts that you can give to people um, that are all centered around the savior. And then another YouTube family, Summers in Alaska, if you go to their website, you can print off this random acts of Christmas kindness calendar. And hey, don't jump on the sofa. You can print out this random acts of Christmas calendar. I'm using both of these as ideas of little service projects we can do throughout the month. I gotta show you guys, we're having a beautiful sunset at 345. Look how pink the sky is. Looks like cotton candy. All right, the refrigerator was overflowing. These are all leftovers. So everybody can just pick what they want tonight. No fancy dinner, but lots of good food here. I'm gonna make a salad with this rotisserie chicken. There's steak and green beans and stuffing and hamburger and all sorts of good stuff. Chicken noodle soup. We're gonna eat good, even though we're just gonna eat our leftovers. 
we are headed to the church right now. Mark is in charge of a talent show for the like eight to 11 year old boys. So Bennett and Hunter are both in that age group and they're gonna be sharing a talent tonight. Hopefully I can show you what they decided to do. Our kids don't necessarily have, you know, like talent show talents all the time. So we had a lot of fun brainstorming what they could do to share their talents with um, their peers tonight. So we're heading to the church and we're gonna celebrate them. So in my language arts class at school, we were supposed to write, we're, we're supposed to write about a, um, a personal story that we've had. So I decided to write about my caribou hunt that I've had. So I'm just gonna get, I guess I'll just read this off. Um, so have you ever had the tingling sensation of staring at a big game animal through a scope of a rifle? Staring at the towering mountains ahead of us, me and my father marvel at the beauty and creatures awaiting us. The top of the mountain is far, but frequent stops glassing for caribou and stopping for, at the creeks, drakes, and water that came straight out of the mountain. About halfway up the mountain, my dad whispers, Stop, I see a caribou on the top of that ridge above us. I froze quietly and asked if I could take a look at the caribou. Of course he said yes and let me look through the binoculars. After staring at the caribou for a minute or two, I decided that it was too small for my liking. Ten seconds later, the caribou that at that point found to be a female caribou stood up and walked away. After, we had the, after that, we had the persistence, persistence and encouragement from seeing the caribou to push to the top of the mountain. But before we got to the, to the supposed top of the mountain, we saw um, a group of about 20 caribou milling around on another ridge about one mile away. <clears throat> I excitedly asked if I, if I could look at the caribou through our spying scope. When we, get, when we got out the spotting scope, we saw that they were that there was a big caribou. Wait, we saw that there was a big caribou in the group, and I explained, "Wow, that's a really big caribou." As we got to the top of the mountain, we saw it was it wasn't actually the top of the mountain. There was actually a really big valley to cross. Well, that and uh, I said, "Well, that will put some extra time into the caribou getting to the caribou," and my dad agreed to that. As we trekked across the valley, we had to move fast to get to the caribou in time. When we got to the other side of the valley, which was actually the top of the mountain, we looked at the place where the caribou had originally been, but they weren't there. I was wondering where they were while my dad was looking through the binoculars when I saw with my naked eye the herd of caribou off to the side of where they were before. They moved down the mountain. I almost screamed, but kept it in and whispered, I see the caribou. My dad asked where I, and I pointed them out for him. We quickly started speed walking over the place where they were. But as we were walk, watching them, while we were walking, they got up and started running down the mountain. We decided to chase, ch change course and try to intercept them. They ended up going way too fast, and they passed us too far to shoot ahead. But little did we know that when we, when we when the caribou went past us, they did a little loop and joined a big group of a thousand caribou. We decided to go around a little knob, and boom, they were there. They were, but instead of, but instead of ten, I mean, instead of the hundred we, instead of the twenty we saw, they had multiplied into a thousand. Me and my dad set up for the shot. As I lined up for the caribou, I, as a, as I as I lined up for the shot, I said to myself, I'll never forget this. And then, bang, I took the shot and down goes my caribou. I put one more shot in for assurance. Then it was over and now the real work starts. Oh, over the next six hours, we butchered and packed the, the beast off the mountain. I will never forget this experience. Every time I want to go hunting, I stare at my caribou coins and the entire adventure comes back. Yeah. So as you can see, this is my caribou. Everett, back up. Everett, back up. Everett. It's called Everett. Ah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Not right now. Okay. Oh, no. This isn't good.
All right, friends, it is late. We're trying to get kids to bed. Thank you so much for being here today. Happy Vlogmas. Thank you so much for your cards. We are really enjoying getting them. Um, and it's so fun to see all the different countries and different states that they're coming from. Thank you so much. Until tomorrow, we'll see you again. Bye-bye.